let's look at commas and how we use commas in lists. Here come Ben and Jody, and it looks like they're going hiking. Ben is taking a water bottle, some sunscreen, a compass and his hat. That's quite a list, Ben. If we want to write Ben's list of hiking gear in a sentence, we use commas to separate each item in the list, like this. Ben is taking a water bottle, some sunscreen, a compass, and his hat. Notice that in this list of items, we don't need a comma between the last two items, a compass and his hat. The word and does the job of separating these items. Let's see what Jody's taking. She's taking fruit, a ham and cheese sandwich, bread and butter, and cake. Let's put this list into a sentence and see where we need to put commas to separate the four items in Jody's list. Hmm, this sentence is a little trickier because there are three ands. We might need to see Jody's list again to help us figure this out. Jody's first item is fruit, and her second item is a ham and cheese sandwich. So we need to separate these two items by putting a comma here. But what's Jody's third item? It's bread and butter. We need to separate the ham and cheese sandwich and the bread and butter by putting a comma here. Jody's last item is cake. Usually the word and does the job of separating the last two items in a list. However, in this example, it's confusing because we have two ands at the end of the sentence. If we leave this sentence as it is, we might think Jody's bringing a whole loaf of bread and a tub of butter and cake. But she isn't. Jody's bringing a slice of bread spread with butter and cake. Bread and butter is a single item in Jody's list. So, in this sentence, to avoid confusion, we add another comma here. We can see that bread and butter is a single item, followed by cake. Our sentence now clearly lists Jody's four items. Jody is taking fruit, a ham and cheese sandwich, bread and butter, and cake. And that's how we use commas in a list.